What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe, and let's get started. So, if you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, follow me at Naptown Sneaker Reseller. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I was seeing if some of you guys probably uh, were thinking, that's your old Instagram. So my new Instagram is impresario underscore 317, and I'll put the link down in the description, or I'll try to put it. Uh, but either way, you can look me up. Uh, so if you follow me on there, the reason I always say that is because I always post pictures of shoes that I'm soon to review. So if you are looking for a certain review, you know, at least you'll know whether I'm going to be doing a review there. Sometimes I don't get a chance to even post them because they sell so fast. So for example, these shoes here, they are already sold. And what shoes are these? So these are the, actually the New Balance M997. Um, these shoes came out last week mid last week i knew they were going to be an instant sellout and the reason being is because they were a todd snyder uh and new balance collaboration this is a size nine and a half these retail for 220 after taxes like 230 something this is what the what the uh envelope that the receipt comes in on looks like so that's pretty cool if you see a lot of shaking, bear with me because I'm recording alone. I don't have a recording buddy today. But look, check that out. That's what it, the receipt would go in here, obviously. I'm not going to show you my receipt because obviously, you know, I'm not going to, um, you know, put my personal information out there. And then here's the box. Nothing too, you know, extravagant, nothing too out of this world, just a regular made in USA box. So there's that, and then the moment you all have been waiting for, the moment I was waiting for when I opened up the shoe box today, is these right here, these bad boys. These are the New Balance M997 times Todd Snyder. Todd Snyder is a uh like a fashion designer and he is very good at what he does very very good materials his focus is a lot of inspiration of where he currently is when he's creating these uh collaborations with new balance um and i'll get more into that here shortly but i just really really like and dig this shoe overall looks really nice the material it smells so so good because it smells like you know good material um like you know high quality is what i'm trying to say bear with me i'm trying to get the you know the uh you know grip of things here with this new camera so yeah but there's that i'm trying to uh you know pretty much get you know things situated but you know i'm trying to uh film at the same time <laughs> so these are the new balance mm997 times todd snyder one of my favorite collaborations of the year between the two they've had other collaborations throughout the year but i never even had a chance to take a peek at them but this one was one i always had my eye on this is called the Hudson. The reason it's called the Hudson is because these shoes were inspired by Todd Snyder's stay in Hudson, New York at the Hudson train station. He got these inspiration of these colors, um, like the brick there around that train station. This is inspired by this bison tumble leather here on the toe box and on the tongue. I mean, look at that. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. Look at that, guys. That is some good quality. Look at that. Let's see Jordan do that, guys. Bison leather all around here as well. Very, very nice shoe, guys. New balance there on the heel. I mean, this is super soft quality, guys. I mean, it's it's really nice. Really, really nice. One of the reasons I always keep my eye on new balance is because of that. The quality speaks for itself. 220, it's well worth it, in my opinion. But yeah, look at that, guys. Check that out. Super soft, nice tones, and all these colors go well together. But it was inspired by that, and a lot of the greenery was inspired. You know, I mean, the other tones and shades of like the greenish or turquoise and the gray here were inspired by, you know, the greenery around the city. Um, so that's where he got his inspiration. He, as he was there, he designed the shoe. I mean, how much more clear can it be? 
Um, this right here, this kind of veggie tan is chemical free pig skin leather. So that's really interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure New Balance has used it in the past, but you can really tell it's pig skin leather right there. You see the pores and stuff. That's really good quality. I mean, this is almost like one of those Mexican authentic, you know, leather belts. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the ones that you see at like swap meets and stuff. Um, and it's, it's, I mean, quality is screaming on this review. I mean, you can just tell, look at that. I don't even have to say much the end there is in that veggie tan. Um, the leather around overlapping the end there and that darker brown is still bison uh, leather. So that's pretty cool. The suede is very nice little suede here. It's that short, you know, suede that swishes back and forth. They're at the heel, super clean. Look at that, guys. I mean, that's super nice. And then on this side as well. And then the gray leather, or sorry, the gray suede here as well. Bear with me. I'm trying to keep it steady. Look at that, guys. Super, super nice. Very nice shoe, guys. Very good quality. I like the tones. I like the gray. I like how the end looks. Like, it, it doesn't just randomly look like they slapped it on the shoe. It's very well integrated within the color scheme of this shoe. Um, I like the technology they use. The tongue, let me get in with the tongue first. So the tongue is just your regular New Balance made in USA tongue with a nice suede there, of course, and then embroidered New Balance there in that orange. Um, and then on the bottom, I really like this. this. This is really good bison leather. Look at that. It smells like leather, like a leather dress shoe. See that? The inside, New Balance, classic. There's the insole there. These would have been nice with the ortho light, but they do have the end cap technology for better uh, padding, but a hard out sole so that, you know, could be very durable when running or walking. These would be more for like casual walking, but it's still, that midsole is pretty, you know, pretty good midsole. It uses good technology. Sorry, I almost dropped the shoe. But um, yeah, guys, what do you guys think about these? Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, these are super clean. I mean, I really like that. I, I'm digging them. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I really, really like the shoe. These sold to one of the guys out in EU. So shout out to you, man. You were very, very um, genuine. We were we were exchanging messages, and he's actually following me now. So let me know what you guys think on this. Todd Snyder times New Balance uh, with the Hudson collaboration. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Follow me on Impresario317. Hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.